I just purchased my first dual extruder single nozzle 3D printer and I learned some hard lessons. I now want to pass those on to you. Although I knew the disadvantages of these systems when I purchased it, I didn't realize how drastic they were and that they are so bad that I'm not going to be using this printer anymore. Watch to learn more about the process, the disadvantages before buying a single nozzle dual extruder printer to see if these really are what you want to purchase. So I obviously knew that printing in two colors is going to take longer. Duh, I was willing to accept that. However, what I didn't anticipate is the dramatic increase in time. So of course there are a lot of factors, but across the board I'm seeing dramatic increases in the time of printing. And here's an example of what I'm talking about. Without a prime tower, I'm seeing this print take 8 hours. Pretty manageable, that's alright, but then you add a prime tower now we're at almost 13 hours 62 percent longer now a prime tower is something that is printed every time a change in color takes place this is so you get a complete level of one color rather than the two colors mixing together now what's worse is that most of the time the things I print are small items and the time increase is worse for small items. So a small item like a hedgehog may take over twice as long compared to a much larger print. So if you like to print small items or you're expecting an increase in time, just know how much longer it really will take. So I really wish I had jumped into the slicer and experimented beforehand to see exactly how much longer this would have taken. This one hit me pretty hard, honestly, so I should have done more research before I purchased this printer, and yes, I admit that. I knew Prime Towers were a thing, but what I didn't realize is that they were so big and that you had to use so much filament between each color. I thought it would be like a little dab, but it is a dramatic increase. Depending on your print, and remember, I like to print small things, I use more filament on the prime tower than I do on the dank print itself. That makes it take longer, but also use more filament. So for example, look at this ball again. Without a prime tower, we have 59 grams of filament. With the Prime Tower, it is now over 100 grams, almost doubling the amount of filament used. That's money going down the drain and time being wasted. Granted, you get a rather cool looking Prime Block, but then what? I'll just have tons of these lying around and they'll all eventually get trashed. Single nozzle dual extruders aren't as accurate. I know that they have a lot of things going against them in terms of complexity, and of course it depends on the printer you buy, but as you can see here, I wanted to print a simple eye with a black pupil. About as simple as you could possibly get. And you can see right here in some of my prints, the black bleeds into the white. And that's after trying multiple times with many different settings and troubleshooting. Sometimes it comes out perfectly fine, but I would say about 60% of the time it comes out like this, which is unacceptable because the whole reason I wanted dual colors is to make things like this and then I could sell them. Well, I obviously can't sell this, so be prepared for a little lack of accuracy and some crossover in colors. In theory, it's really easy combining models in Cura, choosing colors, and slicing it. However, I've made my own models, and little did I know that to combine them in Cura, the different models need to share the same origin. If they don't, then when they merge, they won't align correctly. Now, you're going to have to do this whether you have a single or double nozzle printer, but this is something to note. Like here. I wanted to make the Pokemon unown, so I combined the eye and the pupil, which was really easy, but because the body of the unown isn't a normal circle, its origin isn't at the center of the eye hole, it's at the center of the model, so I can't merge these. If I do, it's not going to print correctly. Now, is there a way to change the origin? 
Uh, probably. I haven't found an easy way to do it, but if you know of one, please let me know. Thankfully, most Thingiverse, Colt, or popular dual extruder models have already done this, and they've done it correctly, but it is an added layer of complexity while designing, and there aren't as many dual extruder models out there, so don't anticipate finding them everywhere like you do a normal 3D printer. So these are the main issues I've had with my printer and honestly why I won't be using it. I purchased a dual nozzle printer and I will be using that instead, hoping for better results. I truly hope that this does help you deciding on the type of printer to buy. I bought the Soval SV02 and although I'm honestly happy with the printer itself, I just should have done more research and figured out that the single nozzle version just wasn't for me. And I think the money I make back in lost filament will pay for the extra $300 I have to spend to get the dual nozzle one relatively quickly. If you have any questions, comment below and happy printing.